My name is Robert Böhm. I'm the Weisset Master at the Vocational School in Weissenburg. The basic idea, so we had to provide complex learning situations for our students and this is sometimes very difficult for vocational schools to find something adequate for those things. And then Roland Becke, our specialist for the workshops, had a wonderful idea to start a cooperation with a workshop for people with disabilities. And we have a workshop here in Weissenburg. It's called the Weissenburger Werkstätten. And then the cooperation starts. My name is Richard Fürsich. I am in charge of the technical department. The name of our uh, company is Weisenburger Werkstätten. Mit der Berufsschule in Weisenburg arbeiten wir seit sechs oder sieben Jahren zusammen und organisieren Projekte für unsere behinderten Mitarbeiter. Die Schüler der Weisenburger Werkstätten, äh, Entschuldigung, die Schüler der Berufsschule Weisenburg kommen zu uns und sehen sich das Problem an den behinderten Menschen an und versuchen, diesen Menschen mit Vorrichtungen zu helfen. Die Weisenburger Werkstätte unterstützt diese Berufsschule und die Schüler dabei. Lachteile quasi hier rein in die Halterung und dann später und wickel ich die, aber ich mache es auch noch mit der Hand, die Enden weg. Und jetzt gehe ich dreimal rum mit dem Klebeband und dann schneide ich es, das Klebeband mit der Schere ab. Die Zusammenarbeit mit der Berufsschule und den Weißenburger Werkstätten existiert jetzt seit zehn Jahren. Anfangs waren es kleine Projekte, kleine Hilfen. Mittlerweile sind es wirklich komplexe Vorrichtungen, die gebaut werden von den, von den Schülern der Berufsschule Weisenburg. Hello, my name is Roland Becke. My role in the project. I am the main teacher for planning, organizing and caring at the Fed for Deep project with the 12th grade of our industrial mechanic class here in Weisenburg. We created this device to help the disabled people to bend this aluminium profile like this. And there the disabled people put it into 10 of these things. And then they can turn this special wheel and they put a, a stripe of glue around the things and then they can do it out and package them. In the, in the, in the second partnership project we produced a toolkit. Um, this is a short guideline where you can see how the idea of VET4D works, how a cooperation should look like and what partners can cooperate. It's a kind of uh, a best practice example. At the moment, we are really um, 10 partners out of nine countries. So we have partners in Ireland, Italy, Sweden, Finland, Czech Republic, Austria, Spain, Belgium, and partners in Germany as well. So it's really a wonderful group. The duration of those project is uh, 24 months and we have to take care that we have mutual meetings and we have a steady contact via internet and email contact. All the partners will report regularly about the progress of the, of the, of the project. All partners come together, for example, we meet in Cork or we meet the next time Krustovice in the Czech Republic. All partners will report about the progress. And this is very important because you can't do everyth everything via email. Uh, so you have to talk to each other and we make up our minds how could we solve this or that and how should we, should we organize students' meetings and things like that. 
a, an opportunity for us to work in an international context, which is very important because it's one of the two focus area of our development plan as a school. And we can also try what is project-based learning. I mean, learning with an objective, a clear objective in mind and produce something which is real. I mean, a real object and do this for disabled people. I mean, gives an added value to what we do. We also have some students at school with special needs, so we are very committed in this area. So this project lets us combine so many interesting points for us. What we are hope to get out of this is that we want uh, to help uh, people with intellectual problems to go uh, have a bigger possibility to uh, be a part of the society. I think it's very important not only for people with uh, intellectual problems, uh, uh, also for the whole society to they can be included in a bigger. For me, it's very important to. Uh, to help them with those kind of things that is maybe normal for us to do, but it's not so normal for them. And also I think the very good thing with this project is that uh, the students can go to a different country and see how it's there. In the first time we were, we were seven partners uh, within the first partnership project. So it was a big group from the beginning on. And the second time it was five partners and now we have nine. So it is really growing. And now we have a um, perfect partner to disseminate this idea with the EASPD. It's, a, it's the umbrella organization in Europe for service providers. And this is really a powerful partner, I would say, to spread this idea all over Europe. And I'm pretty sure that all vocational schools and also service providers benefit of those cooperation projects.